What's going on everybody? Back here with the CX. First day back from the Garage Brood Show in Cincinnati, which was awesome. I hope I get to go back next year. But today I'm uh, continuing work on the steering stops in this thing. So if you take a look at the neck here, I've actually got the factory steering stop ground off and, and flush. So that's clean. I actually took off the uh, steering lock up top as well. So I've just got a nice clean stem here. And what I want to do is keep it that way. So my plan, carry you along here so I can get this figured out. We have the GSXR stock steering. So you can see the gap here is pretty substantial. So if I'm gonna weld a steering stop onto this stem, it's gonna have to be pretty damn big. So my plan is actually to utilize this embossed uh, beefed up portion underneath. So I'm going to uh, drill through the center of that, uh, that section right there which actually lands just inside, right about there. So every little bit counts here. And what I'm gonna do is make a counter bore, just a seal stopper that bolts down through the triple there. It shouldn't sacrifice any strength because all I'm really doing is putting one tiny six millimeter hole right in line there. And it's already, you know, has some webbing. And then the actual stop itself, set this down. I'm gonna use some 3 16 inch plate. And uh, I, I just cut a piece pretty wide, six and a half inches wide right now, which is obviously far more than I need. And I mentioned I wanna keep this clean. So what I'm gonna do is instead of putting it on the front, I'm gonna to, to make a steering stop that goes from the back. So it's gonna wrap around back here and I'll have a lot of weld in the back. That'll add some strength to it. So the way I'm gonna make this, uh, and I've done these in the past is I actually use a hole saw that's very similar um, to the diameter of the neck. So this is a two and a quarter inch hole saw. So you can see, I mean, it's like, it, it's, it's close enough. So it's going to be a little bit oversized and that'll allow me a little bit of slack, but that's, that's fine. So I'm going to just cut into this plate. I'll cut a big circle and then this plate will just fit up. Nice and you know, without a lot of play in here to fit on the neck. And then I'll just trim it back and it'll just kind of wrap around the back side here. It'll be like a big U. And that'll allow me uh, allow it to kind of reach out and touch those steering stops. And I know this might all be confusing right now, but I promise it'll work. And we'll have a nice, you know, beefy 3 16 inch, inch plate to act as a steering stop. And again, it's gonna hit some uh, fabbed up stoppers I'm gonna put on here. I haven't started making any of this, but I'm about to right now, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So, all goes to plan. We'll have some good steering stops, and the forks will clear the tank, which is pushed all the way forward on the new location here. Get the tank off. Drop the so you can see here, bought some deluxe style bushings and what I've done is I've marked the, I kept the hole here and then I've marked the same distance on either side so I've got a, a new pin that runs all the way through the frame and then there's a bushing on either side and this has dropped it down uh, about three quarters of an inch and then just back about a quarter of an inch and so that's why I want to get, I wanted to get the motor in so I can mock up the tank, so then I can do the steering stop, and you know, it's, it's all like one big puzzle piece, but we're getting there, one thing at a time. So yeah, I'm gonna set up the camera and I'm gonna get to work.
Um, yeah, so as I showed you, I actually made a few components here. I modified the triple and I actually made these counter bores, which are just steering stoppers. And there was actually uh, a webbed section you can see under there that was already tapped. So I felt like that was a safe spot to just go ahead and, uh, you know, run the run the bit all the way through, you know, the extra the extra like eighth inch to quarter inch there. But I just used some M6 hardware and uh, made the counter bores. And as I had mentioned, I have actually shaved the entire front of the stem off to keep it clean. And what I did is I made a plate for the rear here that is actually the steering stop. So functions just like any other steering stop. But I put it in the back so you don't see it. So I'm going to hop up on the bike here and we'll kind of give you an idea of the angle if I don't fall. But yeah, as I say, um, my goal is to always have or always be able to turn the bike around in the middle of the street uh, in one shot. So that's a lot of angle. And I still have um, almost a finger's width in between the forks and the tank because I still have to throw on the uh, headlight brackets here. And those will take up just a little bit of room. But yeah, I think that gives me a, a really good range there. And it's, you know, it's really solid. Um, so yeah, I think it's gonna work pretty good. I haven't done one in the back like that, but I just think it's a lot more clean. Yeah. We'll see if these hold up. I mean, that's the only concern, I guess, is just the, uh, the strength of the hardware you're using and the sheer strength. I mean, if you're banging this thing back and forth, you could probably do some damage, but normal riding circumstances and parking and letting the steering fall over, you know, in the street, I, I'm gonna assume that I'm not gonna have any kind of issue with this or the customer, I should say. So yeah, next up now, we have the tank positioned. We have the 650 in here hung and we have the steering stops done. I've already mocked up the bars as you probably have seen. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut off this rear bracket and then we're gonna start fabbing up the subframe. I've got uh, some tubing here and some uh, 20 degree and 30 degree bends. So I've already got a hoop uh, not shown. It's, it's up in the rafters right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and start just trying to put some of this together and see what we come up with. And I think it's gonna be pretty fun. And what I'm, what this is gonna have is uh, an upswept hoop. So it's gonna go just, you know, it, it's gonna come level and then kick up. And I think the end of the hoop will be just past the middle of the tire. That's usually where I like them. We'll have a little fiberglass cowl over that, but I'm gonna do another uh, support either tied in here or into this bar to kind of give another, another upswept line here. And that'll, that'll be really cool. So I'm going to start working on that now. Tune in, stick around, whatever. Just, just keep watching. This is, it's good stuff here. So yeah, here we go. So subframe's done. By done, I mean just tacked up, but I think it looks pretty damn awesome. Swept it down right there, and then I swept it up like that. So all the lines, I think, seem to flow. The biggest concern was actually the distance between the subframe and the shock, but uh, I tested it and tested it, and I can get the shock out uh, without much fuss, actually even though you have to rock it back a little bit. There's a little little sequence to it, but I think it looks really good. I'm gonna brace it further and, uh, you know, obviously finish weld it, but I think it looks really good. This bike is gonna be pretty damn awesome. So yeah, kind of see the lines here. And I think this, this, part of this, this part of the bar here matches the valve cover line or angle. I think that looks really good. And then uh, in the future, this thing will get a uh, fiberglass rear hoop, like a fiberglass cowl. And we'll probably bring that up with this line here. So it'll go up a little ways and then straight back. And that'll look good. And then that'll give a good back, you know, backing for the seat that we'll make. Yeah, this is a bit, you know, this is a big step forward to kind of 
seeing the look of the bike all together. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. I think it's gonna look so sick. This thing is gonna be a lot of fun. So up next, I'm gonna work on the uh, rear tank mount here. Start cutting up that and uh, figure out how to get it, you know, bolted down and, and secure. <laughs> 